Oh my gosh. I'm verified. <laughs> I'm so excited. Important question. What is it? Throw it at me. Give me that question. <laughs> Miss Verified. I'm officially famous. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a wait. Wait a god dang second here. You're going to fail your exam. I Listen, I'm not an enabler. Don't blame that on me. Let's be honest. You were going to fail your exam before you got online. <laughs> Uh, what's going on? How's everyone doing tonight? So I'm I'm having a little bit of a crafternoon. I'm making a costume for Vegas. I'm going to be there on the 12th. I'm at Piranha. It's on my story, so you should know that already. I have this fabric. I'm going to do like a... I'm thinking like a, uh, like a Richard Quinn kind of inspired look. I have this like... I don't want to give it away. <laughs> You'll see it. You'll see it. What's going on, everybody? New tattoos. Oh, my God. <laughs> Funny you should ask. Actually, I um, I have a plan. Okay. You hear me out. You listening? So, I... <laughs> I really want to get a neck tattoo. I'm thinking, like, a big, colorful, just, like, take up the entire space. That's what I want. That is what I want. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my God, there's so many questions. Ah, performing in Vegas. Yes, I am. I'm going to be at Piranha on the 12th. Coming to Wisconsin. I, fuck if I know. Hopefully soon. I'm going to come visit Faye. Hi, everybody. Hi, 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 hi. Am I medicated? No. I should be, though. I have some edibles. Since I'm a... Uh, Shit in here. My SoundCloud rapper era. No. <laughs> what the fuck? I wish. Can you imagine if I became a SoundCloud rapper? Would I ever get a tattoo of RuPaul? Eh, if she's giving me $100,000? Sure. <laughs> Order to game out this weekend. Yes. I'm doing cameos tonight. I am uh, working on this costume and then I'm going to get in drag. And I'll probably go live again when I... Uh, get in drag or just stay alive the entire time it kicks me off after a while though because that's the thing is like i always say that i'm gonna go on live for just like a couple minutes and then i always end up staying for like five years like it literally gets to the point where it's like you have two minutes left on live <laughs> you're on way too fucking long smoke sesh invite absolutely where are you from where are we going tea Get your mushroom look. Oh my god. Oh my god. I gotta show you something. I gotta show you what I just got in the mail. So I just spent the weekend in Chicago. I just got back. So I'm like getting all my packages and stuff. You know? There's a dish. Look at, look at this little incense burner. It's like, it's dentures. But it's like the little titty. It's so cute. Isn't it cute? I've already been burning incense in it. I posted it on my story. I tagged them. You guys should go follow them if you aren't already. They're really good. I love their stuff. I love the teeth. Because, no, actually, <laughs> no Utica this time. But, well, I mean, unless she comes on. I don't know what she's doing tonight. But I spent the week at, <laughs> I spent the night at Utica's house. And so, let me tell you a little story about this weekend. So I, <laughs> I went to Chicago on Thursday to shoot my JLo. I literally shot those photos like Thursday night. <laughs> I was just planning on going, shooting them, and then coming back. When I tell you, I didn't leave Chicago until like two o'clock yesterday. <laughs> I was like... I only had one pair of clothes, need I mind you? So like, I felt so disgusting. Like, I remember I took a, <laughs> thank you, thank you. Those photos came out really good. I looked really good. Somebody said it's giving Latina and I was like, not this, <laughs> not this. Okay, so I spent the night at Utica's house. 
I we had a wig party, you know. We uh, smoked a little bit. We had a wig party, put wigs on, danced around, you know. You know how it is. And so I took a shower. And when I tell you, I grabbed my shirt to put it back on. And I could just smell the BO on it. It was so disgusting. I literally... It was like... there. I think the worst feeling in the world is like putting on dirty clothes right after you just took a shower. Yes! I saw J-Lo post it on my story. And it's funny because I like got the, mes- the message like request. And I was like, what if I just block J-Lo? <laughs> Honestly, this last episode... I mean, we didn't really smoke. We had gummies, so oh, we got high, medicated, <laughs> but it was fun. We went to um, we went to uh, oh my god, where did we go? We went to Charlie's. We went to um, I went to Roscoe's for the viewing party. I saw uh, June and I saw cornbread, and Then I left my Vax card at Roscoe's, and it's still there. So I'm going to have to get it this weekend. Um, I'll probably be back at Roscoe's on Friday. I'm not hosting, but I don't have anything planned for this upcoming episode. So I um, wait. Okay, these are going way too fast. I'm trying to catch up. You smoke two blunts a day? I used to. I used to smoke so much. Like, all day, every day. I wouldn't be able to leave the house without, like... When I tell you, it was so bad. Like, I would wake up. I would take, like, 90 milligrams of Adderall. I would get insanely high. I would go out in the woods, and I would do more drugs. (laughs) It was bad. Like, horrible. You thought you should have. You thought Alyssa should have won the lip sync. Honestly, watching it back, I was like, "Yeah, I think that Alyssa did better." But you know, when I was watching it, I. Um. Okay, let me start from the beginning. So the lip sync, <laughs> Carrie and. Uh, uh yeah, my God. My brain's mush. What were we talking about? <laughs> um, oh, yeah, the lip sync. So, <laughs> Carrie and Alyssa. Okay. When I tell you that episode, I was so drunk. <laughs> it was my first time just being safe and going to Untucked. So, I... No, I knew it was... Al- I know it's Alyssa. Okay. <laughs> I just forgot what I was talking about. So... It was my first time, like, yeah, they they cut, like, half the lip syncs, like, for all of them. Um, no, it was my first time being safe, so I went to Untucked. I had, I think, like, four, maybe five drinks. <laughs> I was so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was really drunk that they cut some of the untucked out because there was like a they cut a lot out of that episode there was so much they cut out like um because they like after we did the challenge we um they made like a quick mock-up of the video and they showed it to us on the main stage so we could like watch it and react to it and like it was, there was so much in that that they cut out out of the official one like I had so many good moments there was one like when the um we were doing like all of our um like walk fake walk in the work rooms like we all did it and I walked in and, and I was like America's next top bottom is here <laughs> it was so funny it was so good um yeah I was so drunk <laughs> that yeah you got me uh uh, Georges and I cuddling on the couch. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, I remember standing in the back watching the lip sync. There was, you know, I think right after Alyssa's, like, money gun stunt didn't work. Um, 
I could see in her face, it was like desperation. Like I could see it. And I, I kind of knew at that moment, I was like, Alyssa lost a lip sync. And it's not that she did worse, you know, it just like, that's the thing with like drag race lip syncs is like, if there's one setback, if you don't recover from it, then it's like, you know, I know, well, that was the thing. They, like, they kept telling me that they wanted to see more glamour and more, like... It was pretty much the opposite critiques from what they were telling Carrie. They were telling Carrie to be more ugly, and they were telling me to be more glam and pretty. And so, that's what I did for the challenge, you know? And I think it paid off, even though there was a lot they cut out. Like, they... We had this whole stunt in my... Like, okay, here's some more tea. We had this whole stunt where I, um, when I, like, made out with myself in the mirror, I had this entire, like, monologue. <laughs> and, um, they made me these little, like, prayer candles with my face on them. They made three of them. And I wanted to take them so badly and they wouldn't let me. There was, like, a whole scene where I was, like, holding up the candles and, like, looking at it and, like, obsessing over myself. It was so funny. And they cut it out. I was like, how are you going to make those candles and then cut me out of it? It was so good. Oh, my gosh. Yes. I have more merch coming. It's ready. I just, like, I have to wait to release it because, like... I think I'm trying to remember what they said. It was like, I have to sell more of my merch or something. It's like, I sell all my management some money. So once I get that paid off, oh my God. Yeah. I had so many good moments in that. I don't know why they cut me out so much. Honestly, like I understand like it's okay. STV, they're like, you know, they put on, um, they show more of who's giving more ratings or whatever. But I was like, whatever that challenge was good it was so good i remember that like being one of the funnest days on set oh my god the candles that they made were so cute they made it out of my entrance look i was like how did they literally made it within like an hour or two like the morning of the challenge they're like oh what do you guys need like what is there anything you need like we can go to you know target or whatever good and i was like oh can you make me like a prayer candle and they did it like they have a whole department there of people like like an art department who like make stuff they like i watched them make that giant bowl that they had um the tic tacs in like when i went to go film my uh confessionals for the first time when i when we first got there and like i was like what the hell is that and then i never got to see it because we didn't do that challenge you know i was on the, the wheel so like it wasn't until after they were all talking about being in the bowl with the tic tacs i was like oh that's what UK versus the world. Um, I'll probably... I mean, I might watch it. I don't have anywhere to watch it. So, like, if I find somewhere to watch it or stream, then I will. Yeah, they gave me a safe edit. I was like... Pfft. Oh, my God. They also... They also, um... They also cut out this moment, uh... <laughs> they cut out this moment we um in the challenge are all lined up on the main stage like when RuPaul's like no you're gonna lip sync against me it was actually it's funny how they did it so they had um Maddie go sit on the judges panel and say the lines and then like we had to come up with the lines that RuPaul had to say like mock up video that they did they <laughs> it was Maddie saying all that stuff instead of RuPaul and I wish they would have kept it it was so funny uh but they we had this moment in the video they cut out where we were lined up and we all had to uh who had to say like oh who do you think should go home tonight and we all said Michelle Passage and we would say for different reasons and when it got to me I was like I said Mich Michelle Passage because of the Alamo and then Carson Kressley said never forget <laughs> It was so funny. It was so, so funny.
honestly, I feel like I was the only one that was not surprised that Alyssa was in the bottom. And the only reason I say that was because there was a moment, um, because her and I did a fight scene, um, the meaty tuck, which they cut a lot of that out too. Um, where she's like, oh, you look like you work in a deli. Uh, <laughs> and then I got up and I was like, uh, <laughs> I'm trying to read the comments. I was like, uh, I don't have a meaty tuck. I had never had a meaty tuck. If I wanted to have, if I wanted a meaty tuck, I would go out and get a meaty tuck. Because I want thickening. <laughs> and I threw a drink on her. I had to do it twice because I ruined her mic the first time. They're like, can you aim a little bit lower? Those mics are $500. I was like, ooh, yikes. Yeah. <laughs> but there was a moment um, before we went to film that where Alyssa kind of pulled, she pulled me aside and she was like, um, she didn't quite understand the joke. You know, there was like her language barrier. She was she wasn't entirely sure like how to deliver it and i told her you know just memorize the lines and just say it how it is you know and she really got in her head about it and i think i was the only one that saw so i wasn't really surprised but honestly like i was really gagged <laughs> I think we all were gagged that she went home so early, you know, because we all expected her to be in the top, but she's she's going to come back and she's going to annihilate All-Stars. I can see that. She's so good. Everyone's really good. Backstage T. It's not really like, I don't know, just fun moments from the show, you know. There's so much stuff that doesn't make the cut because it's like they have to cut like hours of footage into an hour you know so thank you I'm glad that you like my JLo I just remember when I walked out on the runway in that looking at RuPaul's face and he went <laughs> it was like gag they were not expecting that from me The dancing queen is here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Honestly, though, like, Maddie's a good performer. I mean, we're not going to talk about that. That I love it lip sync. Wait. Was it I love it? I love it. I lo yeah, it was I love it. <laughs> that lip sync. They, um... I think I had a moment in my confessional where I was talking about the lip sync, and I was like... I th I'm trying to remember. I said something like, it looks like two people drunkenly fighting inside of a Waffle House late at night or something. Like, it was such an awkward lip sync to watch. Oh. I think this next episode is gonna be good, though. I keep saying that, but... <laughs> Hopefully they, uh... I get more airtime. You know? That's all you can really hope for on Drag Race, honestly. Sometimes girls, like, make it all the way to the end and, like, get no airtime, but... You know, sometimes girls go home first and they get, like, a ton of airtime. It's so unpredictable. I think it really just depends on who people respond to. <laughs> what do you feel when I walk by the runway? It's very invigorating. It's like a switch. You just like do it. It's like, ooh. <laughs> I'm never going to get this costume done. Thank you. Actually, um, yeah, a lot of people have been asking me to do a makeup tutorial for um, my mushroom look. And so I think I'm going to do that soon. Um, I... Oh, Ryan for top four. Absolutely. I have mushroom merch coming. I've had it ready since the first episode, but... I have to, like, space out all the merch or whatever. I don't fucking know. I don't know how any of this works. I'm literally...
yeah the um the catwalk song that you hear is what we heard they played it and we were, we loved it we were all like ooh, ooh what's this it was good and the thing i love about that song uh catwalk is that you can walk really fast or you can just walk slow like it's got a really good groove to it yes i'm gonna do i'm gonna do the tutorial um i'm gonna i'm trying to film another video um to release after this next episode um but it's like oh my god trying to get all this stuff done is so hard you know catwalk is such a bop literally like one of the things like after drag race the entire summer is like i had that song we all did and we talk about this in the in our group chat like having that song stuck in our head and we can't listen to it because it hasn't been released yet so when it finally like i think leaked online we were all like <laughs> we were all uh listening to it and i remember just like listening to it in my uh in my kitchen just like making a bagel <laughs> RuPaul's song Smile. I don't know if I've listened to it yet. When am I performing in Grand Rapids? Um, hopefully soon. I mean, it's really just like finding the time, honestly, because I could go to Rumors and do like a tip spot or something whenever I want, but I just haven't been home. I've been traveling so much and don't look at my mask back <laughs> I'm just gonna move that over here <laughs> making a look yeah i thought i want to do that um i um thought about doing a video um doing like a going to the dollar store and getting stuff to make a look and like doing like a whole <laughs> youtube video for it oh jazzy is good he's good He's being a little stinker. Um, as soon as I can afford to move out of Michigan, I want to. I'm thinking maybe L.A. Um, I don't know if I could do Chicago, just because I'm trying to get away from the snow. Like, gotta get away, get away now. Albuquerque. Yeah, as soon as I get booked. That's the thing is, like, I would love to come to all these places. But, like... I just have to get booked. Lila, yes, I'm doing cameos tonight. <laughs> I'm doing the cameos tonight after I uh, finish working on this costume. Well, not finished, but I am literally just started. And that's the thing is like, it's so hard for me to sketch everything out. Like, <laughs> I always just go in and make it. Like, I never really plan stuff out very well. That's, trying, that's something I'm trying to be better about. It's like planning everything out better nobody comes to indiana i went to indiana i performed in indiana once at our bar it was the worst experience i've ever had in my entire life horrible you give me vibes of lana del rey thanks never heard that before <laughs> the thing is like um i remember walking like on the first day um after it was after we did that the spinning wheel rue's like oh, you, you look like Lana Del Rey. And I was like, I get that a lot. And, he, and he's like, do you, are you like inspired by her? And I was like, I mean, I don't really listen to her that much, but not Lord. <laughs> Blocked. Can we date? What's in it for me? Scarlet Envy on the Lana Del Rey. Oh my gosh, Utica and I were talking about wanting to go on tour together. We were trying to come up with names for it. It was like, we had a few things in mind. I said, um, Battle of the Bull Cuts, or Battle of the Bulls or something. Because it's like weed, but also like bull cuts. <laughs> and that could be like the theme, is like bull cuts. I don't know. I feel like that's been done before. Somebody did that, didn't they? Black screamed at traumatized. <laughs> Obsessed with me. Oh, thank you. 
really sleepy. What does that mean? What does that mean? Yes, I really want to go to play. Do I have a, no, I don't have a dab rig. <laughs> Dabs are too much. Like that's a, a, a once in a blue moon type of thing. Vocal queen, come to roar. What is that? Talent show soon. Oh my gosh, I forgot about that. Yeah, I would love to. Wait, let me see. Is there um anyone I know on here? Is there any of my friends on this live video on the internet? It doesn't look like it. Oh my god, my new favorite thing, my obsession today, ever since I woke up, verify <laughs> is like commenting on people's posts and just seeing the blue check mark next to my name <laughs> it's so good could you imagine Utica and I going on tour can you imagine what kind of show that would be I am busy today I'm I'm procrastinating <gasps> That's the thing, too, is, like, I have been trying to work on um, videos and TikToks and stuff. I've just, like, been so busy. Like, just traveling. I wish I was getting more bookings, but, like, that's, I guess, Febu January and February are supposedly, like, slow months. So, like, I'm, like... I want more bookings. Book me more. I want to meet more people. I want to travel more. Do I hook up with fans? Listen. Drag for me is not like that. It's like, it's a job. It's, I don't get off on being in drag. Having sex. You know what I mean? But, um, I think, yeah, I don't have a problem, like, I guess sleeping with a fan um just as long as they're not annoying about it because it's you know sometimes you just go on grinder and it's like you open it up and <laughs> everyone's just like oh ryan you were ryan story you were familiar and i'm just like oh sometimes you just have to block black people i'm like i don't like to do that you know but sometimes people just are so annoying and then it's like you don't respond and then people are like oh my god it's so rude for you to ignore your fans like this and i'm like girl this is grinder shut the fuck up i don't want you to like you can message that to me not on grinder you know what i mean okay so okay i have a lot of questions let me answer some questions Am I going to come to Canada soon? Wait a minute. I don't know what I'm doing. Wait, what? I just, I went to, I was uh, just in Europe, Europe, Europe. I was just in Europe. I was, I was in London. Do I believe Italy is real? I mean, I guess I never really thought about it, but when you put it that way, that raises a lot of questions. I don't know what to believe anymore. Do I have a booth idea for DragCon yet? Um, not... I have a few, like, ideas in my head that I've been kind of, like, going back and forth on, but I'm like, I... I'm not entirely sure yet. I do know that I want to do something really fun and crazy for it. Let's see. These are not questions. Who are? I don't know. Can I please do a talent show? Maybe not tonight, but soon. Do I wear colored contacts? I wear them in drag. 
Who am I rooting for in UK versus the world? Um, that's a good question. Honestly, I love Monique Hart. I don't know why. I'm just like, like, well, I know why, but I'm like, after watching the previews and like the entrances and stuff, I'm like, every time I see her, I'm just like, oh, I love Monique. She's like the best. And she looks so good. Her entrance. Are you kidding me? That costume. How was my experience on Drag Race? It was great. I loved it. I had a wonderful experience. I mean, although I'm not seeing my face on TV as much as I want to, but it's fine. <laughs> well, and it's not fine, but... Do I have any advice for an AFAB baby queen? Well, I mean... Obviously, I'm not AFAB, so I don't know if I can help you in that regard. But honestly, I think for baby queens in general, really... Oh my god, Nico! Oh, hi, baby! Nico, do you want to come on live? <laughs> yes or no, let me know. Okay. So, for baby queens, I would say, first of all, practice your numbers. You know, choreograph them. Uh, there's like there's choreography for literally any song on YouTube that people come up with, you know? So it's just like, if you're going to do a song or like a skit or whatever, just like practice it, get it down. So when you come out, you don't look like you don't know what you're doing, you know, it's, that is going to help you in the long run. Cause like, I will say there have been some girls that come out and they look amazing, but they have zero stage presence. And there's girls that look like busted, but they can perform the house down. And honestly, I would rather watch somebody who maybe looks busted, but can turn the party than somebody who looks good and just walks around. No, Nico, why don't you want to join a live? You never want to talk to me anymore. Why don't you want to talk to me anymore? Oh, oh, oh. I think the queen getting the least amount of screen time is Lady Camden for some reason. I noticed that too, which is kind of... Um, it's sad. She's so great. She's such a sweetheart. Like, when I tell you Lady Camden is not only the sweetest person, she's so freaking talented. Like, she is an Actress. Oh my gosh, yeah. Wait, let me see. Um, meow. Actress. Hi, everybody. Oh my gosh. So I am trying to work on this costume before I do cameos tonight. I'm going to probably be up all night, so. Oh. Radio Rebel. What is Radio Rebel? What is that? What eyelashes do I use? Um, It kind of depends. I really like the... Um, a lot of girls like to wear like the the ones that like are super spiky but I like the ones that are just super full and kind of fluffy I don't know why but I have been um James Mansfield sent me some lashes from her website and they're really good they're really nice I've been wearing them they're a little bit like they're not as full as I usually wear because I like the ones from Santi Alley that are like whoosh, like Muppet lashes I know, that's why I said trying to work on this costume. <laughs> but every time I go live, I spend way too much time sitting on here. Do I think that Cornbread was bullying Jasmine? 
Okay, so I'm going to put my two cents on this. I just talked to Jasmine this morning, actually. Here's the thing. Jasmine is a very sweet person. You know, I love her dearly. I really do. I think on the show, she was trying too hard. And I think that, you know, there were moments where I was getting kind of annoyed with her, you know, just you know, crying that she thought she should have won and stuff. I, I was just, it was, that was a little irritating, but you know, I think I do agree with, you know, cornbread, like calling her out on it. But I, I really, I kind of felt like, you know, there were times it seemed like, like it almost, <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to word this. So like there were times I was like, yeah, I could, you know, Jasmine, stop, you're doing too much. But then there were some times where, you know, like Jasmine would ask a question and it kind of seemed like they were bullying her a little bit. Um, I, you know, it's, it's hard. It's TV. So obviously everyone wants to, you know, be the loudest voice in the room. They want to, you know, show out the most and make good TV. But I just, you know, the Jasmine that I saw on the show was not the Jasmine that I know now. You know, and like I said, I love Jasmine. I do. I think she's, she comes from a good place. There were some things that she said on the show, um, that did bother me, but you know, it's, I don't think that there's any use in trying to, you know, send negative energy or like hate towards anybody like I think if anything we need to you know look at people like Jasmine people like um like Laganja on her season you know people who just like take things really hard and I think that what we need to do is just send them extra love and be kind of professional about you know just saying like hey you're doing a little much obviously that doesn't make good tv but it's yeah i i mean there were times where you know like i said jasmine would ask a question or say something like when she asked cornbread who she thought should have been in the bottom and cornbread kind of shut her down like that i felt like was a little unnecessary you know I, but, you know, they're cool now. They, everyone's cool. It's, the drama on the show is only on the show. It doesn't last, like, after the show, you know. It's not that serious. It's, you know, don't take Drag Race seriously. Um, how did I feel when June sashayed away? That was really hard, you know, because I love June. She's one of the girls that I'm, like, closest with the season and I could just tell while we were there that she was just really really not doing very well you know not just like in the competition but just mentally you know she seemed like she was really going through it and I um I even told her after I came back from being eliminated I said to her um you know that I was glad that if anyone out of the group were to have sent me home I was glad it was her because I I knew that she was going through a lot and you know I was trying to help her feel better you know I wanted her to you know give her a little push of confidence and just let her know that like you know I'm not holding a grudge that she sent me home you know I I kind of was expecting that I wasn't going to win that lip sync, but, you know, I think, yeah, I think that I was not made to to win that lip sync. Let's be real. Honestly.
Yeah, she definitely was, you know. And I think some of the other girls were, but... June's J-Lo. Oh, my God. And the reveal. Did you guys watch the video that she did? It had a reveal under it. With the ponytail. Are you kidding me? June has showed me some of her looks um, for this season. And I was looking at them like, are you kidding me? That's the thing is, like, everyone was saying that, like, Alyssa had, like, the most amazing costumes. But I was like, June's were really good. That's the thing is, I think people don't give June enough credit sometimes because she really works hard. My joke in the acting challenge, which one? There was a couple jokes, I think. I will never get over the ball challenge. <laughs> I mean, honestly, yes. My leopard was, that was too much. And like watching it back, I was like, oof. But I like, my golfer was cute and my bridal was stunning. Okay, we're done talking about it though. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, thank you, Ronnie. Someone compared me to Pearl online the other day. Energy and stage presence wise. Um, I mean, I would say no. Just like, okay, just not even fronting. Like, you know, <laughs> like I've, I've talked about this a million times but like when I got on the show I was not in a very good place in my life like you know I went to drug race homeless I was like dealing with substance abuse like literally when I flew out to go to drug race like that morning was the last time that I like did anything like that you know like any of those drugs but like you know I was going through withdrawals on the show like we had a quarantine a week before filming and that was really really rough for me like I just kind of like I don't know I felt like it wasn't the right time like when I got there but I was like you know you get a call for drag race you gotta do it and shit I'm still in the competition <laughs> I'm still on my way to the crown I'm really proud of myself. So yeah, I think, you know, just watching the show back, I just kind of see, like, I see, I see it, you know? I think that was the hard part. It's like, just watching it back, just seeing, like, how hurt I was. And I just, I think I had such a guard up, you know? And I think that was the thing, is like, I had so much to say sometimes, especially on the main stage, and I just, like, I didn't know what to say. You know, it's like, where do I even start? You know, it's like every time I was out on the main stage, they would ask me like to talk about like my life and stuff. And I sometimes just like, you know, I would just say, you know, I'd be honest, but some, there was a lot of things I just like, I wanted to talk about, you know, like a lot of the stuff I was going through on the show, like the... I like came in with but I I just didn't know what to say you know it's like when you have so much going on and so much to say it's like where do you even start you know You know, it's a learning experience. It is, you know. I'm really proud of myself. It's like, <laughs> with everything that I had going on, I still, still managed to turn it, you know. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, there was also um, a lot that I did talk about on the show, like, up until this point that 
hasn't been aired so like I don't know if it will or what but you know it's like you just gotta take it a week at a time did I get the sclera lenses which ones would I do all stars if it was to film this summer shit if I don't win the season right away if I you know ever did all stars if I don't win the season you know I think I would I would like you know I think that's the thing is a lot of girls come back right after they're oh my god what's wrong with my voice <laughs> a lot of girls come back right after their season and I think that's a big mistake because it's like you know you want to grow and whatever Oh, yeah, the Pink Panther look. Yeah, I haven't gotten them yet because I haven't started working on that. Um, I thought about maybe doing that for DragCon or something. Put my burger phone on Poshmark. What was it like walking into the workroom the first time? It was crazy. It's like you walk in and there's so many cameras and it's like they don't want you to look at any of the girls. So you just like walk in look straight and say your lines and then you have to stand there and pose for like 20 seconds but it feels like 20 minutes <laughs> and then you can go over so it's funny like seeing everyone's reactions because <laughs> I didn't get to see it on the show literally RuPaul telling me that I was gorgeous yeah I mean she's not wrong meow meow who smells the best June June smells the best. She's bougie as fuck. She's like that girl who would, f would, not saying that she does, but she would fully, like, spend hundreds of dollars on cologne. Like, she's bougie. How have I adjusted to becoming a public figure? It's been an adjustment, you know? I think it's still, it's still, like, a process, you know? Because, like, I don't know shit about well, I didn't know shit about, like, social media or how any of it works. So, like, I'm still learning. I'm still figuring it out. Does she smell like jambalaya? <laughs> that was funny. Girl, you are beautiful. Do you know that? Yeah. <laughs> can I do the high pitch I did in my entrance? Yeah, I can. Hold on. Who smells the worst? Um, I mean, Dyer smelled pretty bad. <laughs> there are so many comments. It's so hard to keep up. Oh my God. Oh. I already got verified on Instagram today. No, I don't have a boyfriend. I don't. I don't even have a girlfriend. Who am I closest with today? I'm pretty close with June. I'm so funny. Why didn't the show show that? I don't know. Ask them. Send them a letter. Go ahead. I support you. <laughs> Being on the 34 people on the live. Yeah, literally. Like when I first started and there was like 20 people on live. I want to get to a point when I get to a million followers... And you just have, like, 15,000 followers just watching your live. That's what I want. That's my goal in life. Honestly. <laughs> Would I date Alyssa Hunter? I think Alyssa is forever in a relationship with herself. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Did I actually smell bad in real life? Sometimes. Can you imagine how good I'm going to be when I have a million followers? Like, can you, can you even, can you imagine what 
I'm going to be doing a year from now. Like, please do a look inspired by Lana Del Rey. I have some stuff in the works. The live when I got announced. I think I still have it. Somebody posted it on YouTube, I think. Iconic. Would I let Daya fling me in the air like she did with Maddie? Yes, I would. Manifesting one million followers. I think it'll happen eventually. It might be a while, but... Oh, my Instagram rates at that point. Yeah. Do I know where Poland is? Why? <laughs> Show me your nipples. What do you want to see my nipple? That's my nipple. My nipple. If I was a superhero, what would my superpower be? I already said that in my Meet the Queens. Did you not watch it? I said I wanted laser eyes so I can cook things. Or to be like invisible. <gasps> that would be sickening. But then it boosts a lot of questions. That raises quite a few questions. It's like, do your clothes turn invisible too? Or is it just your person? Hmm. I am so excited for DragCon. So I went to DragCon back in 2019. I had been doing drag for three months, I think. And it was fun, but like, I think for me, just walking around and going booths wasn't as fun just because I wanted to be the attraction, you know? So now I think going back and being the attraction will be so much more fun. And I've been to LA like <laughs> so many fucking times now since then. So I get to see all my babies in LA. Thank you. I'm glad that you like that JLo gown. Actually, do you guys want to know some tea about that JLo gown? I don't know if you're ready. I don't know if you're ready for this tea. Are you ready, Boots? Are you ready for the tea? The whole tea, the true tea, nothing but the tea? <laughs> I'll show you the tea. So, I knew if they did a J-Lo song for the lip sync, it was not going to be a slow song. So, what I did... Oh, gosh. <laughs> I'm just throwing in my sequence. The gown was actually a reveal. It's a bodysuit underneath. <laughs> the skirt comes off. So if I had a lip sync... I was motherfucking ready! And you know what's funny is this is way too tight on me. I literally busted through the armpit. I was like, if I had to lip sync in this, I fully would have hulked my way out of it. Like, <laughs> it would have been interesting. The back. You know how long this took me to stone? Five ever. I was literally in the hotel room, like, <laughs> finishing stoning it. Can you imagine my drunk ass lip syncing play <laughs> by JLo in this gown? And also, like, the tights that I had on underneath were, like, the shiny ones. The velvet from that dress totally, like, fucked my, le like, tights up. 
So, I just had, like, it was, like, all torn up. It literally looked like I took a razor and was just going like this on my legs. Like, so if I did have to lip sync, it would have looked like I <laughs> had just, like... I'm just gonna leave it there. <laughs> they would have put the grippy socks on me, I'll say that. I know I say this every week, but my runway next week is probably one of my favorites. <laughs> I know I said that about every one, but they're all my favorites. But this next episode, my runway, is so good. So, so good. So good. So good. Did they reveal the runway theme for this next episode? I know they showed some of the runways. I don't even know why I'm asking, because y'all are going to lie to me, <laughs> and I don't want to spill any tea. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. I can't give you a teaser, because if I show you a piece of it, then you guys will already know what it is. It'll give it away. Spring. Yeah. It's so okay, it's telling me I have two minutes left on live, so I'm probably going to have to, like, get off and then come back on. If you guys want to come back and watch me, I actually have to start getting this fucking costume. I have to at least get some of it done. Because I still have to get in drag tonight. Okay, so... I'm not going to tell you the runway theme because I don't know if they revealed it yet. You'll have to watch the episode to find out what the runway theme is. All I'm saying is that it was good. It was real good. It was real good. It was real good. Okay. It's giving me 45 seconds. I'll be right back. I'm going to turn it off and turn it back on, okay? Just said what? I never said the runway theme. Y'all are gaslighting me. I never said it. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. Come back. <laughs> 